All right, so I'm going to make this video quick because, listen, I got two jobs. I got two jobs in the morning. Count it. One, two. I thought this video would be perfect since Halloween's right around the corner. It's the time a ghost called my name. Now, if you're a fellow Trini, then it comes as no surprise to you with these ghost stories. I mean, they're running all over the place in Trinidad. This happened to me, though, here in America, in South Florida. Let me tell you the story. So, it all started one day. It was dark and stormy night. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it wasn't. It was actually a bright, sunny day. Anyways, I was sleeping in my bed, and it was a few minutes before church. I remember it was a few minutes before church, and my mom called my name. So I got up, and I looked at the time. I was like, oh, she's calling me because she's ready to go. She's ready for me to wake up so we can go to church. Um... But my alarm didn't sound yet. I still had a few minutes left, so I went back to sleep. My mom calls me again. At this point, I'm annoyed. I'm trying to sleep. I have at least 20 minutes left before church, or I'm supposed to get up to go to church, right? So at this point, I get up out of my bed. I march over to the room. I'm like, what? What do you want from me? The strangest thing. She was still sleeping. And I was confused because I just heard her call my name. She called it twice. She woke me up out of my sleep twice. And when I asked what she wanted, she never answered. Now I'm here walking to her room to confront her about waking me up before I'm supposed to get up. And she's fast asleep. And there's no way she could have fallen asleep that quickly. And besides, she was, her voice was right there in my room, like it was standing in the doorway right anyways so I let that slide I don't know I got ready for church and everything and then she gets up maybe like 25 minutes later because she never likes to wake up on time and she's like tip you know the strangest thing happened today I was like what she was like I'm gonna change the name this is not a real name but her boyfriend at the time will call him Pablo she says I heard Pablo calling me not too long ago while I was sleeping he called my name and when I woke up he wasn't there okay Pablo doesn't live with her Pablo wasn't anywhere near her house at the time so she was calling me but she was fast asleep and somebody was calling her while she was asleep but she wasn't calling me and Pablo wasn't calling her Pablo wasn't even there and she was sleeping so we realized that hey somebody was throwing their voice to pretend like they're these other people a ghost and I am 110% sure that my mom called me, not once, but twice. I told her the story, and she was like, hey, that was not me. I did not call your name. I don't know who that was or what it was. But I don't think that this is a scary story, per se. I think it's funny to me. I'll tell you why it's funny. Because the devil is a liar. I'm a woman of God, and we're not crazy, and we know it's a ghost. And... Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to comment and subscribe, and tell me a few things about, tell me if you have a good ghost story. Let me know if you have a good ghost story. I want to hear it.